Hi, this is Lucas with the fourth tutorial of how to create this simple breakout game. So, in the previous tutorials, we saw how to create um, uh, some game objects, the movement of the pedal, and um, uh, the ball falling and bouncing back again. And if it falls, it will uh, regenerate itself and you can play again. So, the next thing is to create the blocks. Obviously, the game is all about destroying the blocks, therefore, some way or another, we have to create them. So, let's create an empty game object, which will have a very important role in this game. So, game object create empty. And we are going to leave that like that, game object. We are going to go in the scripts and add another javascript file and name it game controller this will hold the instantiation of all the blocks in the game so open it open the javascript file remove the pragma strict again make it full screen now we will have the start and update again and we need to create some variables as well again so var block of type game object so a single variable that we are going to use so in the update let's leave it empty as well we are going to create a user defined function which means function that personal function that we want to create I'm going to name it create blocks and the concept is very simple we are going to instantiate a list of blocks by the use of a for loop instead of making lot of lines of codes lots of lines of code um, uh, instantiating every block 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 we are going to use a for loop and instantiate a line of blocks next to each other so var uh, so for var var named i which is the counter of type int is equals to minus 5 i'm telling you why i'm going to use minus 5 i is, is smaller than 6 i plus plus so instantiate 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 block we are going to instantiate the block right here and we need as I told you so to input the vector 3 so a position therefore vector 3 and in the brackets the x will be different so we are going to use the counter so i times 21 the the separation between the blocks the 21 10 which is the y height and 0 the z obviously quaternion dot identity and that's supposedly done the next thing is to call the create blocks function right in the start create blocks now if we start the game sorry uh, the same thing so drag the game controller onto the game object as we don't want anything to be seen and add the game object of the block block so play and as you can see the blocks are listed next to each other very neatly so I didn't add any code so they aren't being destroyed but we are understanding the concept so I'm going to change I think some things about the material let's 
let's say something okay so um if you want to change the uh, go on to the bouncer material and change the dyna dynamic friction and static friction to, to zero both of them so that um uh, no friction is uh, slows the ball once it hits something therefore that is an uh, an advantage for you guys or girls um uh, seeing this tutorial so if you want to create other blocks just instead of making many four four loops nested in each other four 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 just make another four loop right here very easily just change the variable to j j and j here and obviously the height because make it for example 20 plus 10 and the same thing will happen but above so two rows are created easy as that easy peasy so um i used minus five and six because if i used zero for example and ten it the blocks will begin from this one from this one till till here and they will go out of the screen therefore i used minus five and it will go till six i will have ten blocks in the um, middle of the screen therefore uh, you know why I did that so once the blocks are ready we go to the ball controller again and we add some other things for example the sound once the block is hit and obviously it is destroyed so on collision let's leave the wall the second thing so if the game object that the ball hit has a tag of block obviously we add the we added the tag block to the block um uh, in the first tutorial we need to play play the clip play one shot brick sound I think we have it here. Yes, brick sound. Comma 0 0.5. And now this line will destroy it, will remove it from the scene. So destroy call dot game object, which means the object that the ball hit. Let's see. So we have to add another audio source now that we have two clips. So component audio, audio source. And now we have to add the brick sound. Save. And if we run, we have that effect of our liking and they are destroyed so that was it for the fourth tutorial hope you enjoyed it when uh, we saw how to create the blocks and destroy them and now we have to add the lives and the score and obviously some things related to them so, see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Th thanks again.